Here's one. My 4C hair is extremely dry and I wear it primarily in braids for eight weeks at a time. Is there a better regimen that will give me more moisture to my hair? Uh, yeah, your 3C, I'm sorry, your 4C, excuse me. Uh, yeah, your 4C hair is not extreme, it's naturally drier. And here's the thing about braids. Um, one, love and honor your hair and wearing braids does not always do that. Wearing braids can um, assist you in loving and honoring your hair. But more importantly, remember there's, there are professionals that have made a living off of using your hair as an anchor for something else that is not necessarily, does not lead to great hair care or styling. And so braids, um, although great, have also been, um, misused um, in terms of like depending on your hair texture you know I'm gonna get into a, a series very soon um, or a, a rant I'm gonna call it a rant not a series on this whole rating system and what the real value to it is um, as, as based off of kinky curly wavy and straight hair textures um, and why it's so important um, in terms of education and so in this customized texture specific approach but a protective style, right? A protective style can be a twist out, a braid out, anything that doesn't require you to have to wet your hair. And depending upon where you are on that texture spectrum will determine how you prep your hair before you do a kind of a protective style. Which again, can be a twist out, a braid out, a weave, a wig, a blowout, a halo braid, anything that gets you five to 10 to three to four weeks maximum. Um, but sweetheart, after, after two or three, four weeks, that's about as long as your strands and your scalp can sustain that amount of neglect before your scalp starts to do really nasty things like collect bacteria and you can get, so you can get funguses. Um, or you start to think that you have a problem with dandruff and you go to the, to the dermatologist and it's like, uh-uh. It just needs to be cleaned, right? And your dandruff is out of control because imagine if you're the skin on the rest of the skin on your body or face, your poom poom, anywhere you did, didn't get in, didn't get wet, it would flake too, right? So if you're leaving any style in your hair for longer than that, then you've got a problem, right? So. Three to four weeks is about as long as your strands and your scalps can sustain that amount of stress or neglect before they actually start to bite back. Your strands will start to break, which means no edges. They'll leave fit um, quicker because everybody's hairline is finer. The hair is finer because of what texture you are. So any damage that occurs from improper hair care, heat, or chemical work happens at the hairline first. Um, so yeah, I mean, and you know, and, and you shouldn't be sitting in someone's hair, and in, in someone's, I'm sorry. And also, you really shouldn't be sitting in someone's chair for service for longer than four hours. So for every hour I say that you sit in the chair, will get you a week out of a style, right? So if you're getting braids or a weed, four hours is it. It does not take longer than four hours to get a weed. And if you are sitting longer than four hours to get a weave or braids, then they're, they're disrespecting your time. I hope this helps. Um, for every hour is a week. And past three to four weeks is about maximum. What's the use of being natural if you can't do all these things to your hair? But not, 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 at, the, uh, not at the sake of your hair. You, you don't want hair loss. I mean, you don't want breakage or any kind of thing, damage from, from being able to do amazing, versatile things like wear braids or weaves or things like that. But that's about how long you should be wearing those things either. That helps.